Hello, YouTube. It has been some time since we have met and discussed. Um, so, here I am again. And um, the point of this video, it's going to be very point oriented, is what's been going on. Why haven't I been YouTubing over the last three years? I've been with YouTube since 2000 and something or other. And um, I, I truly enjoyed it. Excuse, I've got berry juice on, berry spinach juice on my lips. Um, but I, I really enjoyed YouTube for what it was. It really brought me through this time of, of I don't want to say loneliness because there's a lot of people that I loved and cared about around, but it was this time of, um, I was really in my head thinking, well, I don't know, I'm just going through a lot, sorting some, some life issues out. I think one of the last real blog videos that I did was my quarter life crisis and I'm turning 28 now. So that's, that's more than three years, more than three years, quarter, no, that's three years. I was thinking, uh, oh, I was just 24, so I was turning 25, um, and it's approaching that time where it's that that three-year mark where you know, I'm just thinking how much I loved YouTube, and now over the past three years, I, I you know, when I had my quarter-life crisis where I bought that mobile home and was ready to jump in and go to California or something like that, um, I was in debt, I was unhappy with my job, I was serving at a sports bar, and if you know me, I'm not exactly a sports fan or fanatic, I mean I love physical activities and working out and swimming and all of that, uh, but to watch sports is not a very good thing, and, and I don't even party or drink, so you know, I never really had that connection, and um, it was in a casino of all things, so can imagine what my opinion would be on a, about a casino. Um, so, you know, I had a lot of things. Oh, I moved back into my dad's house, then I had the mobile home, and it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but it was amazing. I don't regret that part. And then, you know, I went to Burning Man, and I realized, you know, it's the rites of passage, and I feel that that kind of like started this ball rolling where. I just realized where what I wanted to create wasn't out anywhere, you know, you know that cliche thing. It was within, <laughs> um, and I, I knew that all along. But I, I really think that I just realized that I, I just have to stop going places, and I finally need to establish myself. You know, I just need to sit tight and 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 do something about what was making me unhappy. So, um, over the last, you know, whatever years, I decided to manifest myself a job that I was okay with, which was chocolateering. It, um, I worked for a company called Chocolate Tales, fantastic company, doing, you know, going to parties for kids. I was celebrating birthdays for a living, basically. And being around children is, you know, extremely vitalizing or, or however you want to say that. So I was literally able to do that. I, I was even, you know, I remember, I think it was the first December that I worked there. It was, it was insane. Like I was working all the time and it was tiring and, and it was a real, it was interesting because I was, I was paying massive amounts of money onto my debt. Plus I moved away from, from my hometown, which I think was pretty big, big decision. Like I lived in Toronto once before, which was a bad scenario and now to to come into I'm living very meagerly and I had met up with my first boyfriend of four days from grade eight and we connected on this level that I've never connected with someone before it's literally you know that they call that the twin flame thing where you, you you're just talking to someone you're like wow this is me that I'm talking to so that really helped create some kind of stability as both of us were in this I don't know what you want to call it, a chaotic life of unhappiness 
where we knew how to be happy. And so coming together and being like, okay, you know, we're going to be focused on here. Like, he had no money, had no debt, and I, uh, but he didn't have a job or a career that he wanted. He didn't have inspiration and not myself. I mean, I'm speaking generally on his behalf. He could say, oh, that's all wrong. <laughs> but this is my perspective of everything. And I had debt and, and, you know, this, this desire. We both had this desire to, like, enhance our situation instead of, you know, just staying stagnant and, and mopey. Uh, because, you know, I, I really feel that I was killing myself mentally, you know, I was, I was starting to have no, absolutely no energy and, you know, I was just, it was, it was going towards disaster, you know, I was, I mean, even, I had a mobile home, I was going to go to California and, and had no plan, you know, so, um, keeping that in mind, you know, it's still part of, of who I was, am, you know, this like free bird, blah, 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 so living at one place it was surprisingly easy, <laughs> you know, like, here, I'm like, I've been, I've been moving since I was 18 every year, <laughs> every, like, on average, I think it was every 11 months, I've moved into a new place, sometimes it was less than six months, so, to find myself here, in the surroundings, I've been in this apartment, or room, rather, it is a room with a bathroom attached to it, for three years, and, um, uh, Tyler, we've been hanging around almost every day for the past, you know, three years. That's amazing. Um, we even have, you know, brought a little furry friend into the mix. We take care of our, our little dog, Pavlov, um, and he's absolutely a delight. Um, I've never learned so much about myself about taking care of some individual. I've, I've healed a lot of, you know, other issues that I've had about, you know, my old dog, Buster, dying, who's featured in quite a bit of YouTube videos. Um, so all of that kind of bloomed, and now I get to this year. And in January, I've been making some changes because full, full, Chocolate Time wanted, <laughs> Chocolate Time, Chocolate Tales wanted me on full time. And um, last year in May, I lost a chunk of hair, <laughs> a big chunk. And it's, of course, scared the bejeebies. I'm like, oh my goodness. And and in conjunction with that, I don't think I was realizing that I was tired all the time. Like, I was sleeping fucking 16 hours a day. And, you know, I'd have a full 8, 9 hour, 10 hour sleep. And then I'd wake up, I'd do some stuff, and then I'd have to get back on the couch to sleep. And then I'd have to go to work or something like that. Um, so... I didn't really realize something was happening until I lost that hair when I was like, okay, what the, what the hell is this? So I do my research and just intuitively realize that, you know, B12 is, is there's something in this direction that's, that's not, I'm not getting. So doing a little bit more research, talking to some uh, health professionals, I indeed need to start supplementing B12. Um, as I wasn't absorbing it through any other sources. Plus, I was like vegetarian and vegan on and off since 16. So I realized that, you know, okay, well, that's great to know. And then three months later, I had the most amount of energy that I can't even believe it. Like, I couldn't, I still can't believe it to today that I am like, it's two o'clock. Two o'clock used to be my sleep time. <laughs> my pre-work sleep time and and so with that energy that I had discovered and which is really funny because I also took a yoga course in between the time of discovering that I was going through a transition spiritually you could say um, uh, as we all are going through it was just another one of those gateways walking through that I discovered um, that I wasn't really grounded and that's, I think, what I was trying to do during that, you know, three years ago. Just realizing, oh, I need to stay put. I need to be in contact with someone regularly, like Tyler. And, and I need to have a place to call my own, to create a home with. Um, funny enough, we're on Holmes Avenue. thought that was really clever. And, um, and all of those things started to fall into place. And I realized B12 is, is the color is red. So after realizing in yoga that 
the the root chakra, the root, and I was diagnosed by my yoga teacher as not being rooted, is red. <laughs> so I found it really, really clever that, um, or coincidental, that I was lacking in this rooting vitamin. And so it has completely upheaved my life. I've had so much energy. I'm out of debt. I I have money. <laughs> And then what starts happening, like, you know, I've got all this energy, I start working out, I start feeling great, you know, I'm doing yoga, I've got all this pain in my shoulders that I had developed from serving for so many years, bartending for so many years, all of that starts to dissipate, and then I'm left with, okay, now working so much is making me unhappy, and um, because I don't have any creativity. I don't have any time to be doing YouTube videos, editing videos. Are you kidding me? That that took out all the time that I had. And that's why I had a nighttime job because, oh, okay, I stumble in at 4 a.m. And then you can't go to sleep when you're a bartender. There's no way you end up waking up, at, you know, or going to bed at like 6 a.m. And that's why I had all that creative energy, so to speak. <laughs> creative energy and energy energy are completely different. So now that I've got my cognitive, you can even hear how I'm talking. Like a lot of my other YouTube videos, I'm not, I don't have full sentences. I don't have full thought process, which is really interesting. Um, that's also because I'm growing up, I suppose, where, you know, when you're younger, you're just, you're getting onto things and you're getting your focus. But um, as I'm disfocused right now, but that, all of that, stepping stones uh, has come to this point now where Tyler and I last February bought a school bus and friends of ours have bought uh, a school bus too and they had up and left for just an amazing amount of time and they were posting pictures on like Facebook and stuff like that and it was amazing to see and it, it hit this part in my chest I want to say like right in the part where you kind of get nervous or fluttery in the heart and I realized oh, that's part of me still you know like that quarter life crisis wasn't a quarter life crisis that was my life dream like it makes complete sense like I don't know maybe it doesn't make sense to some people to live out of a RV or bus or boondock but to me there's not a lot of things that I am sure of but that is the most sensical way of living in this debted society. So we bought a bus and we kind of let it sit. Um, my dad's got some land over in Niagara. So we asked him, could we park it here? Great. And so we've let it sit and we start mulling it over. Like, what are we going to do with this? And so our friends are over in some organic farm in BC. So we're like, let's go for a visit. Let's go visit them in the summer. So we had something, a goal. And um, one of my past lovers had once told me, he said, happiness is something look, to look forward to. And I always, like, that's one of the most reoccurring themes is it's so true. You know, happiness, if you don't have a goal, like I was having goals every freaking year and they were costing a lot of money, like uh, the ayahuasca ceremony, the uh, water fast, the... Um, you know, I've had all these things and, and then I did the yoga and, and then it came to the new year, I graduated yoga. I'm like, oh, I'm all out of goals. So <laughs> what do I do? And bam, you know, February, we got a school bus. Now we're working on the school bus and here I am. I'm at this point where, what do we do? You know, I, I want more creativity. I want to be playing music more. I haven't played music longer than... I have, you know, been posting videos on YouTube, which has been never. So those are things that flag something, not wrong, but just a warning in my head. Um, I haven't painted, like, very, very lightly, you know, like, I've done all these things very minimally, but I have been researching a lot lately on, you know, getting off the grid and, and, and things like that, but for the most part, I've realized, okay, now that I'm stable and I'm rooted, and I'm going to keep it this way, I know what to do to root myself. I know tips and tricks and how my inner workings of my brain are. How do I start transforming into more of a creative being again? 
And that's why I'm posting this video is because um, there's some big changes that I'm, I'm looking to make and it takes so much effort. Like, I want to do things right this time. I don't want to just be making silly YouTube videos. I want, you know, intros and music and our own music. Um, I want to take this lifestyle that Tyler and I are transitioning into, which is completely plug, plugged inless, completely off the grid, off sustainable. Sus I don't want to say, sus I don't know, it's sustainable. It's, it's, yeah, I guess sustainable. I mean, I've started blogging and making money online, which has been amazing. It's not a lot, but I'm figuring if we have very minimal expenses and I'm making just a little bit, that is a lot compared to the minimal amount of expenses that we have. So that is pretty, pretty neat. That's kind of a summary of where things are going. I'm planning on, on really boxing up this idea and documenting it you know, step by step of what we do with this bus, um, including all of the financials, how much we spend, um, and just to really summarize how possible it is to live free, <laughs> to live without having a lot of ties, and, and to be migratory is the term that I'm relating it to because I think that in my heart, I love having a home, but I also love being mobile, which is, you know, being migratory. You know, the the ancient cultures they were they were naturally moving around from season to season. Um, so I think that's something that I'm I'm really fascinated with and experimenting with. Um, and I have a lot of things, you know, that I want to include with that, including yoga. Like I'd love to uh, share the. I've got a. I think it's an eight week yoga chakra aligning series that is actually connected to all the planetary beings out there, all the planets for each of the chakras. So I, I hope to plan on maybe videotaping that this summer near some amazing Canadian landscapes. That'd be pretty awesome. Uh, but for the most part, keep posted for um, the, the unveiling of our little mobile home idea and how it's evolving like we've already torn out everything and we're starting we just bought uh, flooring that we got off used flooring off Kijiji and we're getting so many good deals it's it's just been all right but um, it has been very difficult like I Tyler's all into the installation he's, he's at work he's at work all the time <laughs> And I'm here like researching because I've cut down my job a lot and I work online more. It gives me a lot of that flexibility to become that, um, I don't know, we call this command central where our computer and workstation is. And I feel really, you know, at the helm of the research. And it's very stressful, especially now since I'm looking up solar panels and I'm, I'm really getting into that, knowing exactly what kind of panels that I have, learning how many amps are excess are produced through the panel, learning that I need to be, you know, getting charge controllers and making sure that the electricity isn't going and flowing backwards in order to be hurting all of our things that we're going to be using. And it's it's really a head scratcher. <laughs> and I feel for the first time that I'm learning about stuff that I love. Um, and who knew? You know, I you don't know until you start learning about it. But I think I'm passionate about it because it's so, it's so, I own this idea. You know, like I, this is something that I, it's in my heart. So I can just, I absorb it like a sponge. However, there's like, there's, this is my brain. And then there's like, <laughs> an upteen amount of information that I'm trying to shove in here. So it's it's been pretty interesting, but keeping keeping you posted with uh, the updates will be definitely something that I want to do, um, especially because I'm I'm in charge of making the smaller things. Like installing the floor is like, bleh, you know, learning about solar panels is enough. <laughs> and 
you know, having to do that and learning the math on flooring and measuring is, is something that Tyler's really good at. So I'll, I'll get us all in line with our, our essential tools. Um, and what else? But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in charge of more of the smaller projects like building the compost toilet that we're going to be having in. It's basically done. I just need to cut a hole and with a jigsaw, which I've already used. So I'm pretty excited about that. And um, I'm also making a, um, a foot pump shower, which is going to be so exciting. Ah, I got this great idea for a continuous flow where you're using the same water. But anyways, we'll show you that later. As you can tell, I'm really excited about it. It's something that's, that's really cool to me. And, uh, and that's it. You know, it's it's been pretty good over the last few years. I've been feeling amazing, and um, I I hope to be able to get this computer thing under control. I mean, we did get a new computer, um, and it's it's working great now. However, it's a big monster, so we're gonna have to sell it and then go and get a laptop that's that's more energy efficient for the bus. So. I'm going to wrap that up and um, I'm going to include some links below if you wanted to see what else I've been up to on the internet. Um, I've got quite a, dif a few different profiles now. Um, kind of that's how I was, I am making my money, which is pretty good. I've got some fitness blog articles. So if you're interested in reading at any of those, you can read them. And if you want to like a few of them, that would be very nice and um, that's it I'll keep you posted um, I'm in the not really in the middle of I'm going to be hopefully making um, the intro and outro to our, our little bus adventures soon I've also been trying to change my YouTube name around which hasn't worked and now I'm blocked from changing my name again so, <laughs> so that's uh, that's what's up with my Google Plus profile. I also tried to delete Google Plus and they won't let you anymore. Ugh, anyways, that's that's another horse of a different color, right? Okay, well, I hope you're having a splendid life um, as I am and I will talk to y'all soon.